Up at 6 to 9, family tragedy on I-95. Three-year-old twins were found unresponsive in a car, and the children's mother had jumped from a highway overpass. She remains in the hospital tonight, but sadly, the young children did not survive. Tonight, police are still trying to piece this all together. Let's get right over to Local 10's Christina Vasquez, live in Northwest Miami-Dade, with what she's learned. Christina. And so is the heartbroken father of these children. You're about to hear from him now. New at this hour, he's in complete disbelief, also sharing with us that for a couple days he was trying to get a hold of their mother. Uh, he said, I really love my, my, my kids. So. Tears brim the eyes of Milson Caldet as he views a photo of his children, three-year-old fraternal twins, a boy and girl who police say died after being found unresponsive in a vehicle along the northbound ramp to the turnpike from I-95 early this morning. <laughs> Welcome to Explore Crimes. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This tragic incident unfolded during the early morning hours of February 2nd, 2024. A passerby discovered twins unresponsive and foaming at the mouth in the rear seat of a silver SUV and tried to administer CPR. A 911 emergency call was placed. When the police arrived, they saw an adult female jump off the bridge onto the railroad tracks, which is a considerable distance. They also found fraternal twins, a boy and a girl, located in the back seat of the vehicle. The children were quickly transported to a nearby hospital. Despite the efforts made, the children were sadly declared deceased at the hospital. The woman was later identified by a family member as 42-year-old Shirlene Altsheim, the mother of the twins. The children were identified as three-year-old twins, Milinji and Melander Altsheim. The mother was critically injured and was also transported to the hospital. It all started as a bizarre incident that first came out as a medical emergency to 911 dispatchers just after 2 a.m. Police say a passerby on a northbound ramp from I-95 to the turnpike in Palmetto made the 911 call. Officers found the two children unresponsive in the back seat of an SUV, and by the time they showed up, the female driver, Alchemy, she jumped the railing, landing on the railroad tracks below. The heartbroken father, Milson Cadet, expressed disbelief sharing that he had been trying to reach the kid's mother for days. He remains in shock, trying to comprehend the loss of his children. As the investigation continues, police are unable to determine the cause of death until autopsies are completed. Why my kids all pass away? Cadet says he last saw his kids, Melinji and Melinda, and their mother Wednesday at their North Miami Beach home. He says he called her that day and all day Thursday. Du matin, is it one o'clock? Is it du matin? Two o'clock? Three o'clock? He still tried to call. She, she never, she's never pick up. Their older son says he also last saw his mother and siblings on Wednesday. She's a good person. She, she works. That's all I know. She's a good person. She works. That's it. A lot. The young lives of these three-year-old twins gone too soon. Yeah, In really Creole, have. their father, Milson Cadet, says he doesn't know why. I don't really know what ha what, what, what happened. He still don't know. What Family and friends are eager to understand why such a devastating turn of events occurred. They do not know Shirlene as the type of mother that would hurt her children. There were no signs prior to this incident that would suggest her involvement in such actions. She jumped the railing, landing on the railroad tracks below. Let's listen to some reaction. Shirley is a very, very good lady, very good person, very good. They help everybody. We got the office he working for everybody. But I don't know what happened yesterday. They call this morning. I'm trying to call them. This morning I call them. He don't, uh, he don't answer the phone. She says Alcim brought the twins to work often and saw them last in the office on Monday. She was a regular person. She didn't have nothing different about her. She did her work and she go home. While Alcim survived, she's not well enough to have visitors. Still, loved ones say they'll wait nearby as long as it takes to offer comfort as detectives figure out why these children died. She's a good mother. We are hearing from a woman who says the driver of this car, the mother of twins, is her friend. When you hear what police say they found, what goes through your mind? I'm saying that's not her. That has to be something wrong with her for her to do something like that. That's really sad to know that the kids lost their lives so young for her. She's not that kind of person, so it's just so mind-bottling right now. 
to figure out what really went wrong. While the exact reasons behind Shirlene's actions remain unconfirmed, it has come to light that she confronted a series of challenges leading up to the tragic incident involving her family, which might have played a role in the unfortunate event. In examining Shirlene's story, court records unveil a troubling pattern of financial struggles. Legal disputes with her apartment complex unfolded due to missed rent payments. The owner of her apartment complex filed lawsuits against Shirling, and although settlements were reached, her monthly rent payments saw a significant increase over the course of a year. Additionally, there was an open eviction case from a different landlord, filed in early 2023, escalating the severity of her financial challenge. Alsa may own several businesses in the area. We learned that she and her family have faced several eviction cases over the last two years. The case against her family home is settled, but one is still pending against a business location. We don't know what, if any role, that could have played in what happened Friday. While financial challenges and legal disputes were evident, the incident also prompted questions about Shirling's mental health. The attempt to delete herself was a deeply troubling aspect of her story, underscoring the critical importance of mental health awareness and support. As the investigation continues, there is an anticipation that Shirling's account, once she is able to communicate, might offer valuable information. It could help unravel the motivations, challenges, or struggles she may have been facing. It's a complex situation, and understanding the why behind such actions is crucial not only for the affected family, but also for the community seeking closure. As we conclude this exploration into the tragic events surrounding Shirlene Alzheim and her young twins, let's take a moment to reflect on the broader issue of mental health. While we strive to understand the complexities of this heartbreaking story, it's essential to emphasize the importance of mental well-being within our communities. Reach out to your loved ones, lend a listening ear, and let's collectively break the stigma surrounding mental health. The path towards healing is often arduous, and it's a journey that demands compassion and understanding. As we await further updates on the investigation, our hearts go out to the grieving family. Losing loved ones under such circumstances is an unimaginable pain, and we hope they find solace in the memories and love they shared. In the face of profound sorrow, let us extend our deepest condolences to the family and friends affected by this tragedy. May the departed souls, Milinji and Milinder, rest in eternal peace. As a community, let's unite in empathy and support, striving to create an environment where open conversations about mental health are encouraged. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.